din po sa lahat ng nanonood ng ating online midweek service. Nung nakaraang buwan po, our anniversary month, ang naging tema ng ating mga preaching sa ating mga message is about Head Start. And this month of July, ang tema po ng ating tatala, mga ta tinatalakay is about keep going. And this evening, the message that I'm going to share to you is entitled, Keep Going, Faith to Persevere. Our scriptures can be found in Numbers 13 to 14. So before I start po to share the message this evening, tayo muna po ay manalangin at hindi yung presensya at guidance ni Lord. Lord, salamat sa gabing ito, Lord. Ikaw yung itinataas sa amin. Ikaw yung pinakapurihan namin. Ikaw na wa, Lord, yung nagbukas ng aming mga puso at isipan upang mas makilala ka pa namin sa pangunitan ng iyong mga salita ngayong gabi. Wa, Lord, um, ikaw yung mapapurihan sa buhay namin. Mas um, maramdaman namin ang presensya mo ngayong gabi. At Makita sa buhay namin ang iyong um, ginagawa, ang iyong paggalaw, Lord. Salamat, Lord, sa kabutihan mo. Tinataas ka namin, pinapapurihan ka namin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. So, ating background lang po about sa ating scriptures, which is the numbers 13 to 14. Ito po yung mga panahon na si Moses at yung mga Israelita ay nakalabas na ng Egypto na palaya na sila sa uh, bilang mga alipin ng Egypto. At dito, um, nagsimula na yung paglalakbay nila doon sa pin uh, pinangakong lupa ng Panginoon para sa kanila. So para po mas maintindahan natin yung kwento ng um, Numbers 13 to 14, basahin po muna natin. The Lord said to Moses, Send some men to explore the land of Canaan, which I am going to the Israelite. I am giving to the Israelite from each ancestral tribe, send one of its leader. 17. When Moses sent them to explore Canaan, he said, Go up to the Negev and on into the hill country. See what the land is like and whether the people who live there are strong or weak. Few or many, what kind of land do they live in? Is it good or bad? What kind of town do they live in? Are they unwalled or fortified? How is the soil? Is it fertile or poor? Are there trees in it or not? Do your best to bring back some of the fruit of the land. So they went up and explored the land from the desert of Sin as far as Rehob, we toward Lebo Hamath. They went up through the Negev and came to Hebron, where Ahiman, Sheshai, and Talmai, the descendants of Anak, lived. When they reached the valley of Eshkol, they cut off a branch bearing a single cluster of grapes. Two of them carried it on a pole between them, along with some pomegranates and figs. The place was called the Valley of Eshkol because of the cluster of grapes the Israelites got after. And at the end of 40 days, they returned from exploring the land. They came back to Moses and Aaron and the whole Israelite community at Kadesh in the desert of Paran. There they reported to them and to the whole assembly and showed them the fruit of the land. They gave Moses this account. We went into the land to which you sent us, and it does flow with milk and honey. Here is its fruit. But the people who live there are powerful and the cities are fortified and very large. We even saw descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites live in the Negev, the Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites live in the hill country, and the Canaanites live near the sea and along the Jordan. Then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, We should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. But the men who had gone up with him said, we can't attack those people. They are stronger than we are, and they spread among the Israelites a bad report about the land they had explored. They said, The land we explored divorced those living in it. All the people we saw there are of great size. We saw the Nephilim there. The descendants of Anak come from the Nephilim. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Then 
night all the members of the community raised their voices and wept aloud. All the Israelites grumbled against Moses and Aaron, and the whole assembly said to them, If only we had died in Egypt or in this wilderness, why is the Lord bringing us to this land only to let us fall by the sword? Our wives and children will be taken as plunder. Would it be better for us to go back to Egypt? And they said to each other, We should choose a leader and go back to Egypt. And Moses and Aaron fell face down in front of the whole Israelite assembly gathered there. Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had explored the land, tore their clothes and said to the entire Israelite assembly, The land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and will give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord, and do not be afraid of the people of the land, because we will devour them. Their protection is God, but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. po natin, tema po natin ng um, mga preachings natin ngayon is about keep going. Keep going is synonymous parehas po sila ng kahulagan sa word na persevering. Ano bang meaning ng persevere? Persevere means continue in a course of action even in the face of difficulty or with little or no prospect of success. It is the continued effort to do or achieve something despite difficulties, failure, or opposition. Yung faith naman po is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. And pag pinagbasihan natin yung um, meaning ng dalawang salitang ito, Faith to persevere means continuing despite difficulty or uncertainty of success because you have complete trust or confidence in God that He is able and He will get you through it. Ngayong evening po, ang tatalakayin natin ay ang, mga, ay ang katanungan ito. Why do we need to strengthen our faith to persevere? So number one, we will surely face obstacles in this life. In Numbers 13, 26 to 29, nung tapos nang mag-explore, uh, yung mga Israelita comes back kaling sa promised land. They reported to Moses how amazing the land that God promised to them. Sabi nga dito sa verse Milk and honey yung nagtugtong. Imagine kung gaano kasagana and ganda yung land na iyon na pinangako ni Lord sa kanila. Kaso, there's a big obstacle for them para mapossess yung lupang pangako na yun. Um, so, what's the meaning of obstacle? Obstacle is a thing that blocks one's way or prevents or hinders progress. Katulad din tayo ng mga Israelitang ito. Every day may kinakaharap tayong obstacles. Minsan maliit na obstacle na kayang-kaya nating lagpasan pero madalas umaharap tayo sa mga obstacle na talagang susubukin yung pananampalatayan natin. Sa story na to, yung mga Israelita, takot na takot sila sa kung ano yung kakakaharapin nila para ma-redeem, ma-possess yung lupang pangako na yun. Sa so, sobrang takot nila, ayaw na nila pumunta doon. Ayaw na nila mag-move forward. And worst is, mas gusto pa nilang bumalik doon sa pinanggalingan nila, which is yung Egypto kung saan mga alipin sila. Bakit kaya sila ganun? Kasi they are blinded by their fears caused by that obstacles. And that fear hinders them to pursue God want for them. When we let our fears take over us, walang mangyayari sa atin. Hindi natin magagawa ang mga gustong ipagawa ni Lord sa atin. At madalas kapag may command ang Lord, may kasama lagi yung blessings. Pero kung fear ang hahayaan natin, manaig sa mga buhay natin, we need withhold din natin ang ating mga sarili na maranasan yung pagpapala ng Diyos. Um, ang buhay naman po talaga ay walang katapusang pagsubok, pero kung mananaig sa atin lagi yung takot over sa ating pananampalataya, matutulad tayo dito sa mga Israelitang ito na hindi na nila nagawang makatapak pa dun sa lupang pinangako sa kanila ng Panginoon. God wanted them to 
uh, God wanted to give them the best. But in order to receive the promise that God had made to them, which is the promised land, the Israelite must obey, must obey the Lord and they must go in the promised land and fight for it. At usap sa lukuyang mga buhay natin ngayon, ang Diyos na pa rin naman na ibigay kung ano yung best para sa atin. Pero we should um, obey and keep moving despite the obstacles we are facing. At tuwing kinakaharap natin yung mga obstacle sa buhay natin ng may buong pagtitiwala sa Diyos na hindi natin hinahayaan na mas manaig yung takot natin. At hinahayaan natin um, pagtibayin pa yung pananampalaya palataya natin sa Diyos. Mas lalo natin makikita kung gaano gumagalaw ang Diyos para sa ikabubuti natin. Next one is Why do we need to strengthen our faith to persevere? Number one, we will surely face obstacles in this life. Number two is in times of adversity, many will discourage us to persevere. In Numbers 13, 30-33, Then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, We should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We can attack those people. They are stronger than we are. Sa times po ng mga pagsubok, sa times ng mga obstacle, hindi lang madalas yung takot yung nagpe-prevent sa atin na magpatuloy, na mag-move forward. But mostly, the discouragement we receive from other people also weakens our faith to persevere. Pero hindi ganun yung nangyari, nangyari kay Caleb. Makikita natin dito yung sa verse 31, sinabi ng mga Israelita na we can attack those people, they are stronger than we are. We can see that they only depended on their capabilities. They are discouraged and also discouraging others because they only depended on their strength. But Caleb saw that they can take possession of the land because he knows that the God they have can. He did not listen to their discouragement, pero nag-relay siya sa pagkakakilala niya sa Diyos. And he knows that God will lead them in taking possession of the land God promised to them. In Numbers 14, 6-9, Joshua son of Nun and Caleb son of Jephone were among those who had explored the land, tore their clothes, and said to the entire Israelite assembly, The land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, He will lead us into that land. In this verse, makikita natin si Joshua and Caleb that though the voices of Israelites are loud, the discouragements are um, siguro lahat sila nagsisigawan doon na hindi nila kaya malakas yung boses ng mga Israel, Israelita grabe yung discouragement na naririnig nila but because Joshua and Caleb knows the Lord, knows the God They already experienced it eh, nung sila'y pinalaya sa Egypto. At hindi yun nakalumutan ni Joshua and Caleb. They know and alam nila na ang Diyos kayang-kaya si, kayang -kaya silang tulungan para mapasess yung lupang pangako na inyo. So why do we need to strengthen our faith to persevere? One, we will surely face obstacles in this life. Two, in times of adversity, many will discourage us to persevere. Number three, when facing obstacles, we tend to forget the greatness of God. So Numbers 14, verse 1 to 9. That night, all the members of the community, um, let's start to fight. Then Moses and Aaron fell face down in front of the whole Israelite assembly gathered there. Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephani, were among those who had explored the land, tore their clothes, and said to the enter Israelite assembly, The land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into the land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and will give it to the 
will give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord and do not be afraid of the people of the land because we will devour them. Their protection is gone, but the Lord is with, with us. Do not be afraid of them. These grumbling Israelites was also the same Israelites who saw all the miracles God made. Paano makalaya sila sa pagiging alipin ng Egypto? Nakita na nila kung gaano ka-powerful at great si Lord, pero ang bilis nilang nakalimot sa lahat ng ino. Katulad din ba tayo ng mga Israelitang ito? We already experience in our life how great our God is. He already get us through different adversities sa ating buhay. Nandito tayo ngayon sumasamba sa Diyos sapagkat naranasan natin ang kabutihan niya. When we are facing big obstacles in our life, do not turn back from God. Kayahin natin si Joshua and Caleb. They did not forget how great and mighty the Lord is. They know that if the Lord is with them, they can take possession of the land. Their faith to persevere comes by knowing that the Lord is an almighty God. Their faith to persevere comes by remembering all that the Lord had done for them. Sa mga oras po na ayaw na natin magpatuloy sa ating pananampalataya dahil sa mga mabibigat na pagsubok na kinakaharap natin, let us remind ourselves kung paano tayo itinawin ng Diyos sa mga pagsubok na dinaanan na natin noon. And we, if we have faith to persevere just like Joshua and Caleb, hindi lang tayo tulungan ng Diyos para makalagpas sa mga pagsubok. He will also bless us and he will bless our family and um, he will give us our reward. In Numbers 14, 21 to 24, nevertheless, as surely as I live and as surely as the glory of the Lord fills the whole earth, not one of those who saw my glory and the signs I performed in Egypt and in the wilderness, but who disobeyed me and tested me ten times. Not one of them will ever see the land I promised on oath to their ancestors. No one who has treated me with contempt will ever see it. But because my servant Caleb has a different spirit and follows me wholeheartedly, I will bring him into the land he went to, and his descendants will inherit it. If we have faith to persevere, and we, if we keep going and not turning back from the Lord, the Lord will not just get us through our adversities in this life. He will also bless us and our family. At magagawa natin kung uh, ano yung gusto ng Diyos na ipagawa sa atin. In this life, we will face many obstacles and discouragement that will hinder us to do what God wants us to do. We will encounter many blocks in our journey that will prevent us from keep going. But if we strengthen our faith to persevere, whatever comes in our way, we will keep going. So let us take care of our faith and strengthen our relationship with God. Because if we know how God, how good and almighty our God we are serving, we will not stop pursuing Him even in times of difficulties.